Hi everyone, Citizen Chris here again. Hopefully the audio will work. A um, couple of reasons why I'm here. One is to um, show you, that, as you saw in a previous video, this skull was outside of the cabinet and so was this piece of armour. And I've got the music on because I put my um, jukebox in. Jukebox is quite cute. Press F, it switches off. You press F, it puts it on. There are three tracks. I'm not sure what the parameters are for them. You can find them in the, uh, you know, under the uh, Star Citizen folder. Where my big Ben is. Oh, oh nice, isn't it? Anyway, um. One thing I was going to show you here is this is the um, the Herald, which is currently the fastest ship in the game uh, because of that top engine. It's considered a bit of a dragster because uh, it, it turns badly. It turns even worse than you think. To show you, I use this ladder. <coughs> Side, and some people aren't quite sure what this is, but if I go over here past this seat, there's a used thing next to this thing. I go open, and you can hear something just happened. Uh, come out, and it looks a bit weird, and it's a bit weird because it's now propped up on these. Com uh, transmitter thing stick out. If you land, you actually uh, this is quite well. Look at it. Normally, it's not so well balanced. It's actually normally leaning over. I wonder if I can push it. I think that's the first time. You know, I'm going to screenshot that. That's the first time I've actually done it, and it balance perfectly. Not weird. Screenshot coming up. Oh man. There we go. Get back in. Normally she's tilted over. Oh. Yeah, there's a treat for us all. But when those um, those transmission pads are open, you can only go in a straight line. So uh, bear that in mind when you transmit. This is a data runner, of course, and by God, can it be? Uh, if you want to fly this in Arena Commando or something, I suggest what you do because it hasn't got much in the way of weaponry is ignore your weapon and get the nine tails unless it changes to three zero to follow you and just very obviously don't extend those flaps uh fly very rapidly around asteroids and the nine tails usually just crash i use that on the benny's mission sometimes when i'm looking for benny's hench which is a uh, something i will go through i'll wait for the three zero version but still anyway um just shut up now, no, he's still going as well. I'm in my gold uh, suit, which is the one I said was the best one for uh, track IR when you use it, which I haven't got on today. You know, there used to be really beautiful music in Star Citizen, and then they employed that new guy to rescore it, and he did the most amazing thing. Oh, 
lovely. Anyway, the other thing I want to do, that as the audio goes around behind me. I hope we've got headphones on, that sounds great. Turn it off, we'll get big fun. Oh, whatever. I'm going to go to Area 18. Um, just a quick intro into Area 18. It's the Art Corp planet. So we've had Art Corp technically in the game for quite a while. And this is, I'm not here to show you all around Area 18, but if you've never been, why? But um, I'm going to go into Cubby Blast and show you that you can buy those weapons that you can get only in Grim Hex in the PU. And they persist into the PU. My only problem is I think I've bought everything. There we go. Here's Air 18. Uh, we used to be able to get through this door by wiggling and jumping and doing all sorts of weird stuff. But, um, over here, plants. That's a nice sound. Soundscapes. Um, <clears throat> this is like the customs area. Yes, that's my Aquila. And uh, yes, they've been, they've uh, improved the subsumption. I think just a little bit there. Come out, here's a wonderful view now. The first thing you want to do is to go here and go whoa, look at this. Isn't it wonderful? If you die here, that's where you come out of the medical unit. You hear ships flying past, see them. Anyway, if we go into um Kobe Blast, the point of this video is to uh, show you that come to this shop, you can buy the uh the standard uh, friendly people arm. I'm going to miss this armor. I know the new armor looks terrific, but I do like the 07 on there. From I always think that's a tribute to um, Mass Effect Shepard armor. Um, but over here, you can also buy the bad guy armor. Yes. So um, try it on. In the right spot. And there we are. you just swing your mouse around <coughs> and you um, look up at the camera. Say cheese. Oh, I think my uh, body's not looking very good. That's not dark too. But um, either way, so you, uh, we saw uh, on ATP the new version of that. Looks pretty cool to go to say. The old uh, glow in the dark eye one. And here's uh, some rattlers. If you if you're new to this game, uh, unless 3.0 completely nerfs these or something, uh, get yourself some rattlers. You know, get some wreck, play arena commander, don't, and or we may have in-game purchasing going, or we have to wait for 3.1. Get rattlers. Uh, what they do is they fire. They just look spectacular. First of all, they they fire. Um, uh, looks like seven. Uh, mini missiles at the target. Any ones that are still flying when the target is destroyed are supposed to redirect onto the next target. I don't know whether that still works or not. Um, and here are the guns. You can only get any uh, energy weapons uh, in Olasar at the moment. Oh, no change. But, um, you know, you can. Uh, Buy them all here, which is rather nice. Pick up some ammo. We're actually going to be paying for everything, aren't we, in the new version? 
And just in case there wasn't enough, there's even more in here. Look, white suits, standard old white suits. They're all much of a muchness. I just happen to be in the, <laughs> the shiny one. Shiny. And uh, there's a vandal skull in here. To have, well, not skull, head really, to have a look at. Uh, how much that changes uh, when we see them in Squadron 42, I don't know. There's many pens. We're going to have oxygen pens soon. That one doesn't seem to work, but that one does. Oh. Many pen, many pen, many pen. Okay. Oh, it works fine. And some dude, and they put in a cap because they haven't given him any hair yet. So, this is the. This is um, quarter past five on the Wednesday morning in the UK uh, before Citizen. On 2017. Once again, I'm up. But basically, this is more of an audio test. I've had a thought about why has my audio been stuttering. And uh, if anybody can give me any help, but what I've done is repositioned uh, the USB lead from the. Um, focus right uh, box I've got here. The microphone. Uh, into a slot all by itself. There we go. Gladius, is it Gladius? I can't remember which one's a Gladius and which one's a Gladiator. The Gladius. Oh, quite a bit more than that. And one going underneath. <coughs> Same thing. They're all boring. We'll give some more. You usually get um, M50s. This is barely in mine, I suppose. And, um, there's an M50. Top of the devil. Beautiful ship. M50 was supposed to be the fastest racer in the game. Oh, there's a 350 coming under me here. 350R, maybe? Oh, no. Generic on there. No. Cutler. Just a cutler. It's the old cups, black and You can't actually go out and visit these places at the moment. You know, we live in hope. Oh, there's a cup that's coming. <coughs> I always reckon that's the best starter ship. Anyway, uh, let's pop into Astro. You will, should be able to buy your ships in game fairly soon uh, using in game money. Please don't buy and spend money on ships that you haven't got. Um, the idea of buying these ships is not so we've got any advantage in the game, it's to um, support this whole project. It's the, it's the mechanism we've been using to get nice, shiny, bright, shiny ships like that. What one Supposed to be the fastest ship, but it's not as fast as the Drake. The kind of the speed thing. Listen to that. The kind of speed thing should be a split one. Anyway, I don't want to go on too long because they'll probably find out the audio is rubbish and I'll have to delete this video, but we'll see. And out we go again. Yay! There's a lot to explore. You should run around here. There's another. Grey. <coughs> it's like a 350R with absolutely nothing to it. So it's and over there, there's a freelancer on top of that. Uh, anyway, um, this is Citizen Chris uh, signing off. I hope you have a terrific run, whatever that may be. Uh, and I'll see you later.